Thanks for joining us, folks. The Champ Sports Bowl is coming at you from beautiful Orlando, Florida. And it's an absolutely beautiful night as we get ready for this game between the Wisconsin Badgers and the Hurricanes of Miami. Wisconsin is lined up for the opening kickoff. So here we go. There goes the opening kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. So now we'll get to see the offense come out. the gun. Three wide formation. He throws it. Pulls it in, first down, and he's knocked out of bounds. Now that's how you run a corner route. He explodes. Little handoff. And they finally bring him down at the 27-yard line. And the tailback comes up with a great run. Let me tell you why that play worked right there. And it's knocked away. They'll call on the field goal unit here. The kick will be about a 39 or 40 yarder. Trying to take the lead by a field goal. And it's through the uprights. But here's the drive summary to recap what just happened. Got a man, watch out here. He's tackled at the 42 yard line. They brought the middle linebacker on a pitch and the quarterback. Three wide receivers. They're going to pitch it. Tackle made around the 46-yard line. This kid showed terrific footwork. And... and he's got the junior. And down he goes, right around the 30. The pass results in a first down. I'll tell you. They'll run the option. He's at the 20. And he's tackled around the 12-yard line. This is one of those uh-oh plays for the defense. Not only do you not stop him on third down, you give a big gainer on the ground. Back to pass. Heavy pressure. He's wrapped up for the sack. Kirk, how did they get that sack? The O-line had the pass rush at their mercy. I and they'll attempt the field goal. This one is from about 29 yards out. Wisconsin is looking to tie things up. And the field goal is good. And now we take a look at the drive summary. Nice scrimmage. High formation. Nice run up the middle. So he got enough for the first down there. Yep, nice call to run the ball there on third down. I like it. And now let's send it down to Aaron Andrews with an injury update. Guys. When the injury first occurred, the trainers believed he had broken a rib. However, they have since downgraded that to only a bruise. Right now, I don't see him on the sideline, and he will not be... Is under center. One in the backfield. They go with a run, and he's going to be stopped short. A loss on that one, as he couldn't get past those big linemen. It has the distance, and it sails through the uprights. And here's our drive summary. time coach the offensive line is so concerned with their penetrating abilities that these linebackers are able to roam free and make plays like that with three wide receivers pulls it in and that's a first down move the chain game because they just got themselves a first down yeah the quarterback and receiver on this one up in the shotgun four wide receivers split out in the formation nobody out to cover the running back these days, you need a running back who can not only run the foot. That's a great pickup by this back. Gives it to the back. And he's tackled right around the 26-yard line. They need to go back to this kid. That was Lines up in the shotgun. Three receivers split out. Harris, back to pass. Let it go, and it's caught for the touchdown. The wideout makes a big catch there. Hey, whenever you have a receiver who can make plays like that, you just want to get the ball in his hands and let him do the work. Listen up, my friend. That was a tremendous throw by the quarterback, too. Don't forget about the guy slinging the ball all over the field. with the drive summary. Set. Three wide receivers. Caught out in the open. He steps out at the 41. And that is a great call and a big game, especially on a news ribs. His shoulder pads are off and they're icing his chest as he rests. His return is questionable right now. Brad, back up to you. 
caught, and that's a first down. Big play, and it's first and goal. That's a great job by both the quarterback and the receiver. The quarterback made a great read and throw, and the receiver split the zone coverage with a beautiful post route. Well done. He drops back. He's under some heat. Brought down. Not too much loss. They only dropped about two on the play. Got a man open touchdown. The quarterback threw a pretty ball there for the touchdown. But don't forget about the catch. The receiver made one heck of a grab, too. That score leads us to our drive summary. Play now before we hit halftime, so they'll most likely throw one towards the end zone here. Harris, back to pass. Incomplete, almost picked off. We've played a half of football here, and our score is the Hurricanes, 13, the Badgers, 10. Back in the backfield, three wide. Looking to throw. Caught, open field. Brought down in the open field. I like that play call. Anytime you can get a first down on third and long, it keeps your defense off the field. And They'll go with a toss right. Runs outside for a nice game. So the halfback gets some decent yards and a first down. Good stop there. A little handoff. And he's tackled at the 16. Third down has been the charm on this drive. Well, it's been all about execution. When it comes to calling the right play at the right time, he took a big hit there, Coach. I don't think he's got his equilibrium back yet. Man, I sure wouldn't want to be hit by that kid. That's not baby fat on him anymore. He weighs 300 pounds plus. I don't know if I'd be calling him a kid. Well, I'm not the one out there taking the hits either, my friend. He's looking to tie the ball game up with this one. And it's right down the middle. And now we're going to take a look at the drive summary. Single back set, three wide receivers. The tackle made around the 48-yard line. And that pass and catch gives them a first down. That'll happen when you blitz the corner and the offense picks up the blitz. Harris steps back to pass. It's broken up. The defense holds. Great job to get a finger on that pass and cause. This will make it a field goal game. It's up, looks long enough, and he missed it left. No good. So they can't break the tie on the miscue by the kicker. He better get over that miss fast. I have a feeling they might need him again. In backfield. Drops back to pass. Makes the grab past the marker. And he's tackled at the 45. A nice completion to the tight end. A good play. And they get the sack. He took too much time. You got to be more aware in a pop. Rose. He almost had the completion. Yeah, but the defense was ready. Wide receivers. They run it for the first, and he stops. The defense punches them off the field after. They go to the ground game. He's to the 40. And he's shoved out of bounds at the 49-yard line. Defense. He heaves it deep. And they bring him down the 16. The receiver did a nice job to separate himself from the defense on that one. That didn't go for six. James on the give. The five. Touchdown, Miami. Great play, and they should be celebrating. They did just what they had to do, and now they have the lead. And it's also a big touchdown because it takes the kicker out of the ball game. A field goal won't cut it anymore. A moment here. Let's check out the drive summary. Boy, got in there to make that play. Boy, this kid can run. Back to pass. Throws it deep downfield. And he's you can start to warm up the bus. 
Rose, and that one's going to hit the ground incomplete. Not much of a chance on that one. Well, he had to go for it. We're at a point where there's not much time left, and you got to put it all on the line. And he takes a knee. And this one comes to an end. Our final count in this game, Miami 20, Wisconsin 13. Lee, what are your final thoughts here as we take a look at the play of the game? Well, we saw a pretty good game here today, Brad. Miami is a real fun bunch of guys to watch. This is a good-looking football program. Well, that does it for this presentation of NCAA Football 10. For Aaron, Kirk, and Lee, I'm Brad Nessler. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time.